Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can increase the number of plastic bottles and canteens that spawn on your DAISY community server. These two essential items for carrying water around the map. So let's get started. First off, let's show you how you can kind of access the files on uh, Nitrado. Um, you might be doing this on FTP, you might be doing it doing this with a different um, server provider, but if you're on Nitrado, we want to get to the types.xml file. So on Nitrado, you just click on the web interface, that will get you to the dashboard, and then you want to go to the file browser, and then this is a PS4 server, so we pretty much go straight to the DAISY PS missions. If you're on PC, um, there's a few levels you've got to go down to find the DAISY PS missions. Same for uh, an Xbox, the same as PlayStation. Once you click on this one, though, this is a Chernerus server, so I click on Chernerus Plus. If it was a Livonia server, it would say Enoch. If it's a PC, you've probably got a choice of whichever one the server's running. Um, so we're going to click on Chernerus Plus. And then what we want to do is we want to get into the DB, the database folder and there's the types.xml so we click on that we download the types.xml download it to a folder and then what you want to do is you want to make a copy so that if you make a mistake and you can't recover it you've got that vanilla file still to work with then you want to open it in your favorite text editor you can edit it online using the file browser but um, I would, uh, if you can do it offline, it, it, it's a little bit easier. I would recommend using Notepad++, but you could use just Notepad. Now, if you open it up in Notepad++, you get all this color coding, which means that if you make a mistake with syntax, you can spot it pretty quickly. So let's start off with the water bottle. So I'm going to type Control F to find, ooh, Control F to find, so, uh, well, I'm just going to type in water because that will find me the water bottle. So here we go. So here we go. So type water bottle. So there should be, and these figures might be different for your server, the, the nominal value, so this is how many should be spawning in on a server, is 130. And they start respawning in when that value goes down to 100. So spread out over the entire map, there should be 130 water bottles. Um, quant min, quant max, 20 and 70. So the first thing we can, we could, well, I would actually leave that because when you pick up a water bottle or a canteen and it has water in it, the first thing you should do is empty that water because you don't know whether it's good water or not. So you could, I guess you could change that to zero if you wanted to, but let's leave it for now because we'd want people to, to do it. Um, it's only ever counted on the map. So it says counting map. So if a player has it in their hand or in their backpack or in a box at their base or they buried it or it's in a chest, the map won't count it, Daisy won't count it, and it will still try and get it up to 130, um, or whatever the value is for your one. So let's let's increase this to, I don't know, 160. That's not that much. Remember, where you add something to a server, you should really take something away, so I should really go and look at 30 other items, you know, those useless items, check shirts or dress shoes or hockey helmets, that sort of thing, and take out a few other items so we can have a little bit of a balance, and we'll increase the minimum, say, to... 150 um, and that's it really we would just save that you'll notice there's no um, category for uh, for the water bottle um, and there's no um, place marker either. there's no usage um, so what that means is the water bottle can spawn anywhere at all which is which is pretty good so now let's do the canteen so control F canteen there we go right so here we go so here we've got the canteen so in fact on a server on a vanilla server there should only really be 20 canteens which isn't very many is it if you think you've got 60 people on the server only 20 of them in theory can have a canteen now because again it's only counted on the map as people pick them up and put them in their backpacks put them on their belts and all that sort of stuff the the server will spawn more in so you know people can have more than that um, and we can see it's classed as food and military and hunting. So it'll be found in military places and hunting places where you would find food in those places. So what we could do is we could put this up to, say, let's double it to 40. Um, change the minimum to 30. Excuse me, boy. <coughs> Sneeze. That goes up to 30. Um, again, we'll ignore quant minimum, quant max, because the first thing, first thing you should always do is... Um, is empty a canteen when you find it and what we could do i mean you could leave it at military and hunting but if you wanted to make it easier to find them what we could do we could copy that we could either delete them so they would spawn everywhere but there's not that many 
but maybe we could put also in something like uh, if I can type it right village there we go and we could put in town so they would also spawn in villages and towns. you don't have to do that um, I mean, and a military canteen they do tend to be used by soldiers and hunters don't they so it kind of makes sense to leave them in military and hunting but again if you're doing a PVE server or even a PVP server when you want it to be a little bit kinder to people make it a little bit easier for them to survive when they first um, start off then definitely consider adding villages and towns to it as well in fact let me quickly show you so everything in Daisy has a, uh, a tag um, so clothes, containers, explosive food, tools, vehicle parts, weapons. Unless if it doesn't have a tag, then it can go anywhere. Um, and then you've got a um, w where it will spawn. So you could, in fact, one thing you could add is uh, like coast. If you added coast to your um, to your usage, then it would spawn along the coast in things like um, those little rowboats that you find that have washed up along the floor. So there we go. That's how you add the canteen and the plastic bottle that's how you add more spawns in and more of them to your daisy pro server hopefully that's been useful if it has hit the like button subscribe if you've got any questions or comments put them down below and i'll see you again soon